The format is an art cruising app. The app is based on uh, Grinder and Tinder and those various uh, Scruff. Scruff, Squirt. Um, there's quite a lot of dating apps called things like Squirt. It's a it's a platform which reveals your GPS and you get to meet up and have sex with who you want or go on a date if you're into that thing. Um, and uh, so Performer uses that idea, uh, but uh, where you cruise for art instead f instead of sex, or art and sex. I'm not um, saying I've been on a lot of dates via cruising apps before, but, but I have done that, that exact thing. I mean, I think you have to probably be quite an adventurous audience member, but mm. I think that that's actually part of like, I think that's the way that a lot of these apps, these dating apps work, is that they really tie into our own sort of deeply held beliefs about romance and sex and the risks that we're willing to take to gratify ourselves. There is sucking in the performance. I mean, a lot of the, of the work in this is unexpected. Um, so um, it's high quality, but unexpected, um, which is, I think, integral to the nature of cruising. <gasps> I've just got a message. <laughs> are we who we say we are? Is it really easy to identify ourselves from online into real life? I don't think we even know what our online identi identities are half the time. I, don't, I think if someone started to stalk me, I actually quite like what I'd like to do Scotty's one just to see what he finds out about me. I have no idea. What's... Sorted. <laughs> People are constantly surrendering. So they're surrendering a kind of agency when they step into the cab with a stranger, they're um, taken, being taken, they don't know where, you know. Yeah. Yeah. They're constantly being taken. Mm -hmm. It's a fantasy journey, it doesn't really have any association yeah. with your surroundings. It's yeah. you're meant to be taken into a total fantasy. Mm -hmm. So the question becomes how we as artists, curators, performers, producers, can really tell a story through these technologies. It partly comes out of uh, working with what I know and what I'm good at, which is chatting to anonymous strangers and arranging dates with them at short notice. And working with paper mache. But I have to say, when we do it, we really feel immense love, don't we? It's so strange, isn't it? It's like we both need a cigarette afterwards. <laughs> Claire wants one right now. <laughs> <laughs>